For this unit, you will have to be able to identify the flow of blood through various different pathways. There are two paths that you will need to be able to describe. One is pulmonary circulation and the other is systemic circulation. The pulmonary circulatory system involves the heart and lungs and is important for oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange. We will begin with a brief introduction to the four chambers of the heart. You will study the heart in more detail later in this unit. The human heart is often described as two hearts that beat as one. The reason for this description is because the right side of the heart receives spent blood from the body and circulates that blood to the lungs to be oxygenated. Blood that is high in carbon dioxide and low in oxygen is often referred to as spent blood. The function of the left side of the heart is to receive oxygenated blood from the lungs and pump that freshly oxygenated blood to all the tissues of the body. The vena cava delivers spent blood to the right atrium of the heart. The right atrium contracts to force the spent blood into the right ventricle. The right ventricle then contracts to send the blood through the pulmonary circuit to the lungs. Remembering that the function of the arteries is to carry blood away from the heart, the blood is delivered through the pulmonary trunk to the pulmonary arteries, which carry the spent blood to the lungs to deliver carbon dioxide and pick up oxygen. Remembering that the function of veins is to carry blood back to the heart, the pulmonary veins carry the freshly oxygenated blood to the left atrium. The left atrium contracts to force the freshly oxygenated blood into the left ventricle. The left ventricle then contracts to force the blood into the aorta, which delivers the freshly oxygenated blood to all the tissues of the body. One of the key points here is to be able to describe the difference between the gas content of the pulmonary artery and systemic artery and the pulmonary vein and systemic vein. The pulmonary artery is high in carbon dioxide and low in oxygen, whereas the systemic artery is high in oxygen and low in carbon dioxide. The pulmonary vein is high in oxygen and low in carbon dioxide, whereas the systemic vein is high in carbon dioxide and low in oxygen.